man, that was a rough ride. My buddy Justin Bowles and I just crossed Lake Bourne to get into the Biloxi Marsh. Winds today were supposed to be five to 10, seas one foot or less. But when is the forecast ever right? And today it definitely was not. <laughs> it was blowing in excess of that out of a bad direction, southwest. So we've gotten in here in the Biloxi Marsh and actually the water's beautiful in here. Got a good rising tide, so we're hoping to catch some redfish. But the plan for today is to go catch triple tail, to go run the crab trap corks out in Lake Bourne, maybe even toward Mississippi Sound, and try and catch some triple tail. If you're not familiar with triple tail, it's an offshore fish that moves into this area in the warm months of July, August, into September. Once you start getting cool fronts, they kind of move out, but we're hoping they're gonna be there today. Uh, but first, we're gonna try and put some redfish in the boat. Wish us luck. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny how often that's the case, like in the ponds and stuff. You sight fish and you get that donut. Yeah. Sure, all this would be better on a fall. Yeah. But see, I think the mouth of the pond should be good. Like, you know, the pond might be really good right now with the tide rising. The tide rising, right. You got him? Let's see if he's got a buddy. Nice. You feel pretty big? Yeah. Yeah. Is he a netter? Probably. So pretty. He didn't make any commotion at all when he hit it. He just There's one out there. Yep, yeah, look at that. He tailed and all. Yeah, he hit you like right away, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, pretty red. Multi-spotted. Guess he, yeah, I mean, he's definitely an under. Would you say 26, somewhere in there? All right, are you keeping fish? Uh, unless you want to. I don't want to. There he is, there he is. You don't see nobody running up in there. Same size or what? Yeah, he looks pretty big. Alright, so Justin's up on me 2 nothing. I'm fishing a chatterbait, which is a bait I really like. He's throwing an H&H &H gold spinner with an LSU colored, or with, what do they call it, tiger, with tiger bait colored matrix shad. Two could be a fluke, three would be a pattern. He gets another one, I'm gonna have to start fishing that. There he is. All right, I don't have to give up my chatterbait. Not as big as Justin's. But actually a much better eater. All right. About a 19 incher, I'd say, maybe 20 inches. That's a good one. See a netter? No? He's an eater? All right. Twenty two, twenty three. You got him? <laughs> Shoot. He's a big one, huh? 
He's not? He's not huge. I mean, he's bigger than that. Yeah. Let's see if they got any more back here. Oh, yeah, he's big. You want to net him? I'm going to come net him. <laughs> All right. All right, so Justin's up on me four to one. A smart man would probably change baits. I did change colors, but I really don't think it's a bait. I think it's access to the fish. We'll see. I don't know. He's uh, he's one short of his limit. Now we've released almost all of them. I think we kept what two? Two. Kept two of them. Released all the big fish. Stuck tags in them. But we're only gonna do this for a little while. Once that sun gets up high enough, we're gonna go run crab trap corks, looking for those triple tail. And I'm very excited about that. All right, Justin and I made a quick little short move. I'm sticking with my chatterbait. He's sticking with his spinnerbait. Water's dirty in here. It's normally beautiful, gin clear, kind of root beer, a little bit tan and stained water. But it's uh, it's really dirty today. West winds are good for nothing. Oh, that was cool. Hopefully that came out. You saw him come up and tail walk? Yeah. No. He's still a little green. All right, the sun is up high enough for us to go pursue some triple tail, so that's what we're gonna go do. Hopefully this ferocious west wind doesn't mess us up too much. I don't know, I'd say it's 50-50. We'll see, gotta go to know. All right, Justin and I have gotten out here to discover the conditions are absolutely horrible. It's really blowing hard out of the west and it's causing white caps. The key to doing this, you wanna look for crab traps and they're almost impossible to see with as rough as it is. We've definitely got our work cut out for us. This may not happen. You want to confirm he's there for a bait or you want to yeah, throw on it? You just want to throw on it? I would throw on it. Yeah, but I think you might have I think you might have been legal. Dude, this shrimp is massive. This is a big shrimp. Same. Still there. Still there. Still okay, I see. Yep. Okay. He's gonna spook. You're getting close. Okay. Just flip it ahead of the crab trap and he'll come out and see the shrimp. Don't reel it past. Pull it, pull it. Pull it up. He see. He went down. Look, in the future, I know it's tough to this, but catch your cork on this side of the trap. On the downwind side? Yeah, like so if okay. you gotta worry about it getting tangled, then reel it where the shrimp comes up, and then he'll just swim past the okay. and see it. Let's see if he comes back up. He didn't spook, I mean. No, he didn't. He just kind of moseyed down. Want to take a crack at him? I can't reel with that hand. Oh. Go ahead. You All right. Yeah, it's funny. Like you have trouble seeing the corks and stuff, but then like when you see one, yeah, you know. it's like yeah, no doubt. Then you think I should throw on the left side, or you want to see how he's facing? Right over. Fun. Yeah. I don't see him, do you? Yeah, he's still there. He's right behind. Okay. 
See, I would I would throw to the left side of the trap and reel it right past, like right past the front of the trap. Like on this? Yeah, on the left side. I'm, I'm with left you. Side. The trip behind it. Real fast trying to eat the pork. There he goes. There he is. There he is. Get the net. Get the net. Get the net. Get the net. Oh, he just he just realized he's hooked. He was trying to eat your pork. Yeah, I saw it. Oh! Come on, come on! That was a beast too. All right, mission almost accomplished. We had an opportunity for two fish. We kind of blew them both. One of them we hooked, got it both sides, and it just threw the hook. Absolutely heartbreaking. Man, we ran probably 300 crab trap buoys today. Those are the only two we saw. And then we got run in by a thunderstorm, so. But I promise you, we'll be back here doing this again because it is so much fun and these fish are so rewarding and they're the best eating fish that we have in our waters, probably in any Gulf waters, just delicious fish. So we'll be doing this again.